Hello everyone. Today in this video we are going to discuss landmark guided transversus abdominis spleen block. Under following headings, its anatomy, indications, landmarks and the procedure. To understand the abdominal anatomy, let's discuss its muscles, nerve supply and the dermatomes. Now, if we see the abdominal wall posteriorly, it consists of swans major, erector spiny, quadratus lumborum and the latissimus dorsi. Anteriorly, there is rectus abdominis. And if we see the lateral wall of the abdomen, the innermost consists of transversus abdominis. And the thick stacked muscle is of internal oblique and the outermost is the external oblique. And now, the innervation. The innervation of the anterior lateral abdominal wall arises from the ventral rami of the spinal nerve T7 to L1. Spinal nerve arises from the vertebral foramen and the ventral rami runs between the external oblique and the internal oblique and pierces the rectus abdominis and forms anterior cutaneous branches. In the midway, it also pierces the external oblique and forms lateral cutaneous branches. And these now supply the skin, subcutaneous tissue, muscles and the peritoneum of the anterior lateral abdominal wall. T12 also communicates with iliohypogastric nerve, supply gluteal region and hypogastric region. Iliohypogastric nerve also communicates with ilioinguinal nerve. And supply the upper and medial part of thigh and the part of gluteal region. Now, indications. Tap lock is most often used to provide surgical anesthesia for minor surgery, superficial procedures on the lower abdominal wall and post-operative analgesia for below umbilical surgeries. Unilateral or bilateral depending upon the surgeries. Unilateral like appendectomy, inguinal hernia and bilateral like umbilical hernia, bariatric surgeries, exploratory laparotomy, cesarean section and the urological procedures, etc. Moving over to the landmarks. The point of entry for tap lock is the lumbar triangle of Pettit. It also corresponds with the mid axillary line. Now this is the coastal margin and this is the iliac crest. This is the mid axillary line and its midpoint is the point of entry. 50 mm needle is inserted perpendicular to the skin and this is the first bounce pop. Indicates the needle is between the facial layer of external oblique and internal oblique muscle. Go further and then you will appreciate the second bounce pop. Indicates the needle is between the facial layer of internal oblique and transversus abdominis muscle which is the tap plane where we have to give the drug. Now hold the needle and aspirate and after negative aspiration give the drug. And I have used 20 ml of 0.2 to 0.3% ropivacaine. And most importantly, this block relies on the local anesthetic spread rather than the concentration that is volume dependent. Thanks for watching. I hope this video will help you. Please like the video, share and subscribe my channel.